We are literally in a first look because this is the first time that Dutchman has produced the Kodiak Ultimate 3371 FLSL. Um, so I'm excited to do a walkthrough for this. So Absolutely. true first look. But here's the deal. With this being a first look, your chance to see this for the first ever time here at the Ultimate RV Show. If you like this unit, here's what you got to do because it's going to be a limited supply for a little bit. There That's might correct. be a wait. Text Easy RV to 32094. Easy RV, four letters. That's it. It's that easy. Four letters. Easy RV. Or drop me a comment, Easy RV down below. Give me a call, 866 853 3510. Now, if you say, Chris, I love this floor plan. I want myself a front living floor plan like this. We have specialists that are standing by, and that's what Easy RV is all about. Did they tell you what Easy RV is? They have not. Okay, so check this out. It's really cool. You know, we got modern technology. Absolutely. And how advanced we've come. We have taken the combination of technology and the size and strength of Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors, and we're now bringing the units to people with Easy RV. So they text Easy RV to 32094. Somebody's going to be standing by to give you a virtual walkthrough through this camper. Now, you and I are gonna get a chance to show people what it's like to have this style, this front living style, but we're not gonna be able to get to everybody's questions. Our specialists will be. They'll walk them through, they'll answer everything, they'll show them everything, get you, know, how high is this? How's my head? What's this look like? You know, blah, blah, blah. They'll cover all of that. Then they're gonna set them up with finance. Paperwork's gonna be mailed out to them. Return envelope postage is included. Prepaid, don't even pay for the stamp. Then somebody's going to deliver the unit to the campsite or to the house, set it up, give them the walkthrough, the whole nine, just like they were at Camping World. Don't even have to get out the fuzzy slippers with the Georgia Bulldogs on them. Can't beat That's white gloves. Can't beat it. That's, that's <laughs> white glove treatment right there. Yeah, it is. That's absolutely. So if that's what you're looking for, we got you covered. Easy RV is underway right now. Jump on it like it's a trampoline. Tell me, Dean, about this front-living, gorgeous Kodiak. So what we were able to do, we took a traditional fifth wheel floor plan okay. and brought that into an ultralight travel trailer. So I kind of got that feel. Yeah, 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 with the front like like I'm in the front cab. Yeah, Ab absolutely. So the beauty is, is with your theater seating, you've got direct view here to the 50 inch uh, entertainment center. Right. As Which well as enough. a trifold. So that is a full uh, a full trifold sleeper there that you're also going to have, which is pretty rare uh, in in a, in a travel trailer. Yeah, absolutely. Well, not only that, but at the front here at the front cap where we have the large panoramic window, which if you think about it, you go to the mountains, you go to the beach, and having the sunset or the sunrise, and you're looking at the front, man, that's a that's a breathtaking moment. That's yeah, that's the beauty. Anywhere you really sit in in this front living, you're gonna get views of where you're at, and that's really what camping's about. Yeah, yeah, it's about the experience. It's about Absolutely. having fun, reconnecting to with loved ones, disconnecting. I like how you got the opposing windows, giving me some cross breeze here. So if I did want to lay that out, I could pass out pretty quick. Large bookend tables over here too. I got USB charging there, power ports here, so plenty of power options. Now. The frosted glass inlay right here and the whole decor, what is this decor called? What is it? So this right here is our new uh, tungsten titanium. We just rolled this nice. out um, and it's really has, it's just a great look for us. It is a good look. I mean, the frosted glass, Kev, I don't know if you can get in on that, but take a look at just the design, the lay on that frosted glass. We've got the shaker style cabinets, brush nickel fixtures, plenty of storage up here up top. Um, I see we got ducted AC. How's my AC in my furnace? So your AC here, you're gonna be 15,000. Of course, it's also 50 amp, so right. you can put that additional 13.5 there. Yeah. Um, so that's been great. Since we have that there, we also fully heat and close the underbelly. Nice. Um, which is, it's huge, especially in, in a lot of the areas in the country. Yeah. It's allowing you to you know extend that camping season, right. keep any road debris from damaging underneath, Sure. Uh, but also keep rodents and critters from getting underneath the uh, trailer. Does that also, are the tanks enclosed as well? The that, tanks are enclosed as well. That get pushed to the tanks? Absolutely. That's Absolutely. huge. That, that's a little thing that, you know, like with, with Dutchman, what they've done. They take into account, you might be driving through northern Michigan in February. You don't know. Absolutely. If that water tank freezes and bursts, whoo, that's a bad day. 
Yeah. You do not want that. So that's a great feature to have. Now this giant TV with my component shelf, I got some drawer storage over here, full extension on the ball bearings. Fireplace right there with the multi-light. Come on, man. And we have two of them. So not only do we have one perfectly located here in the front living, we also have an additional fireplace in the uh, king bed slide bedroom. We got two fireplaces? Two fireplaces. Dude, get out of here. Now, having opposing super slides, that really opens up the space and allows us to get this island kitchen. So kind of walk me through. I sat here and I had to sit again because it was so comfortable. Tell me about the Thomas Paine and then kind of flow me through the kitchen here. So the beauty, you know, you've got the Thomas Paine to have that theater seating so you can recline. Right. Functional windows, of course, in the entire slide box mm -hmm. to maximize that cross ventilation. Love those wood valances on there too. Yeah, here we have it equipped with a freestanding table and chair. You can mm -hmm. also opt for a traditional booth. Sure. So um, you can have both options. One of the other things I want to show you, it's kind of a hidden secret. We did so well with our hinged entertainment centers with the right. hidden pantry. Yeah, I remember that. We're those. also able to incorporate that here into oh, our behind the entertainment center. Uh, as well if it's a beverage station, whatever you might want, we also have that here, so. That's where I'd hide the Girl Scout cookies I don't want the kids getting. Absolutely. You touch my peanut butter patties, hey, you know what happens. Absolutely. This I'm is my I'm a lemonade guy, spot. but. Yeah, well look, look, you couldn't even tell. I didn't even see this when we walked in, and I spent some time staring at the TV. That's a good hideaway option. It's it's perfect, it's functional space. There's, you know, in this, in this business, there's so much, only so much space we right. can use, so right. we wanna maximize, really, the footprint that we can make functional. Yeah. Plus I got the raised lips right there. So in transit, if I do have something back there, like, you know, cans of beans, beets, whatever, it's not gonna fall out. You know, I'm gonna be good to go. My Malamars are gonna be just fine. Absolutely. Absolutely, Absolutely. love it. By the way, Girl Scout cookies can't run again, RB, go get you something. <laughs> now, got the Norcold fridge. Now wait, I'll see if it's still doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Ice cold. <laughs> It'll never there. Cold. It's like the beginning of a rock video. Now this is, is this a double, this is an automatic switch on this one? So automatic, so we use a 12 volt, 10 cubic inch, but you can also equip uh, gas electric eight cube. So we can nice. have it two different ways. Okay. Most most brands, it's one or the other. So yeah. we're I giving like you that this, option. I like the space. Well, 12 volt, I'm gonna run off the power on my truck. That's correct. So I'm gonna still have the option to keep everything cold while I'm going down the road. And when I ask about the automatic switch, what that means is if you do have the gas electric refrigerator in your RV, it'll switch depending on what circumstance you're in, plus also give you the option to not run out all your LP, you can do electric, but more importantly, it's gonna make sure the stuff that's in your fridge stays cold and doesn't rot on you. Also as a nighttime that. mode as well. So if you do have folks, if they were sleeping out here, you can also put it in nighttime mode, which is gonna quiet that reefer down as well. Oh, right on. So Okay, that's a nice touch. Just like the solid surface countertop we have here in the island, man. Yeah, so we do a th thermofoil seamless countertop with our stainless steel sink apron mm -hmm. front. Uh, wanted to really bring those modern touches that you're seeing. Yeah, really the in, undermounted in farmhouse style sink. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. But tons of storage. Our drawers, too, to note, not only are they a fully extendable ball bearing, right. but they're also real hardwood on our doors and yeah. drawers. So solid we use real wood. hardwood. Full extension right there keep that swelling from happening if you yeah. get into some of the climates where you've got a lot of heat and humidity. Yeah, and that'll also pop it off the track sometimes too, and that's that's not a good thing. Absolutely. So yeah, that's a good touch. I'm a big fan of the sprayer nozzles, the, these residential that you know just give you so much reach inside the farmhouse sink. Uh, we do have storage under here as well, which that has our, if you'll see, it has our cover for the sink, but good spot for the trash can, for, you know, tackle box, fishing. People gig me all the time, man. Because I'll go into a camper and say, oh, this is a good spot for fishing lures. This is a good spot for hunting gear. That's nice, but you got to put the utensils for this. But you gotta... No, it's not. It's not. It's your camper. You can do with it whatever you want legally. Just know that when it's your RV and you say, hey, this layout, this front living layout is great. I want to set this up at the beach. I want to put it at the lake. I want to use it as a hunting cabin. I want to use it as a lady's getaway. It's fishing cabin, whatever. If you want to put lures, stuff here if i want to take right underneath if i want to use that pot and pan drawer under the oven for shoes i'm gonna put my shoes in there absolutely what you gonna do about it dean hey i'm gonna let you do it because it's have your, your camper that's right speaking of i love how i have the flush mounted three burner stove here i got storage up top 
Got my pop-up station there, glass cover that also doubles as a backsplash. But check out my campsite window where I can check everything out going on out there. Enjoy some fresh light coming in. Got the LED accent on the controls here for the oven. Got the large oven. Tons of space on this one. You guys were really thinking about the overpacking when you built this one. Yeah, we wanted to maximize our storage, but also make as much counter space as you can. So yeah. like this, this big hutch, we've got counter space, the most counter space you're gonna see in a travel trailer of this size. Yeah. Tons I mean, this storage. is, I got, I pretty much look through the camper and I see counter. I got it here, I got it here, I got it behind me. I mean, even with the end tables I have over there, I got countertop there. Yeah, I'm not gonna run out of places to put my ferns when I head out to the lake. This is beautiful. It's fantastic. All for 7,600 pounds as well. So 7,600 pounds. 7,600 pounds. So you're gonna hit that, you know, half ton towable market. There, that was our real big goal here is to right. make sure that we could give that traditional fifth wheel floor plan in this segment for that, you know, truck buyer that wants to save the bed of his truck. Yeah. You know, yeah, we've, yeah. we've oh, got, that, yeah. you know, we've right. got them covered. So that's uh how many people can i sleep in this one now, now i know we got the freestanding dinette right here so you have so the freestanding like, yeah. so with your full bed there you've got two on the on the trifold right um depending on the size of of who's going to be sleeping you could fit one or two here uh right. in, the, in the booth dinette right, if you, if if the you equipped it that yeah, way yeah, yeah. and then of course two here so comfortably four to six so but as is this is a great couples coach great this couples is a great coach. couples uh retreat yes this is more than just a couple's coach because you have space and style to accommodate a family, to entertain a family, sleep for comfortably as is. For sure. So this is for, if you're that couple and you're looking for that escape from just everything and you say, you know what, I'm tired of visiting the in-laws and staying with them. I want to take my home with me. I'm tired of buying a hotel room at the beach, paying airfare. We're going to take this, we're going to set it up, and we're going to stay in it. But I need my space, my prep, my countertops. This one is great for you. Not only that, this floor plan style is great for you as well. Easy RV, text it right now to 32094 or leave me a comment down below. Easy RV, give me a call, 866-853-3510. What we're going to do, if you like this floor plan, you like this style, I got somebody standing by that's going to walk you through one. They're going to answer all your questions, get you covered up. They're going to let you talk to finance. They're going to get it delivered to you so you can just go camping. It's that easy. Literally that easy. Make our way down to the bathroom. Solid door walking in. Solid door. We've got our nice porcelain toilet here in the Ultimate Series. With the foot flush. Like it. Hair our bone, square shower. Around, like it. With our bypass sliding doors. Mm -hmm. Also, our mirror is LED backlit as well. Oh. With our motion lighting, so you can have these switched on to when the door opens, you know, the lights will turn on just by motion. Getting fancy. Got the large countertop space too there with the curves, single basin sink. Got me some storage underneath. I'll tell you what, I'm liking what you guys are doing with this 3371 front living unit. All right, so you had mentioned king size bed. Yes, sir. Over here. And you had mentioned fireplace yes sir you've got to be kidding me look at this oh sorry we kind of blocked kevin out that's okay he's resourceful but the countertop once again countertop space do you think somebody maybe heard countertops too much in the design we heard it a lot we they heard said, it a right, lot we got you large panoramic window here plus i got one at the rear of the camper so if I wanted to cross breeze, I could easily open these up, get me a breeze going, enjoy a good night's sleep. I got a king size bed, rustic appeal over here on my headboard, plus more of that storage, shaker style cabinets with the frosted glass inlay. Yeah. Look, even the Air Force is coming to get one of these. That's right. They saw it. They said, I'm not even going to take time to text Easy RV to 32094. We're going to fly there to the Ultimate RV Show and get one right now. That's what's going on outside because that's just what we do. And I hear nice you, boys. Too. It's coming. Strut supporting right here under the king size bed. Good storage space there. See, and I'm a fan of having the strut support because when you're loading the bags in, you get the rifle cases, the whatever, the fishing gear, the tackle boxes, having to do the, the angle and toss. Too old for that, man. I ain't got time. But 
fireplace in the master suite. Can't great beat touch. it. Can't that beat is it. Such a great touch, Dean. And the nice thing too is not only will it, you know, put the heat out, but you can also put it on a mode where even if you want the aesthetics from the yeah. fireplace, you can do that. Three different colors that we can change the lights to. So multiple flame settings. It's got the blower. So if I didn't want to run the heater and it was just a couple, we're staying in this. This is this is our escape penthouse suite. I got my fireplace back here. We'll just run the heat back here. It's fine. Fantastic. Save your LP bed. gas. Yeah, absolutely. Bed in a slide. Big fan of that too, because you do get to walk around as opposed to being crunched and getting up and down. Is that my wardrobe right that over there? That is going to be your wardrobe space. And I too also want you to see that it's also washer dryer prep. You put a travel trailer washer and dryer prep. Yes, I sir. I like it. Once again, you guys did take the full extent of getting fifth wheel amenities and put it in a travel trailer. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's right on. Dean, I got to tell you, I, one of the things I love about whenever we get a chance to do these first looks, because you know, you're, you're thinking about this is your first chance to see something new. This is the wow factor. And you do get a lot of wow factors, but I'm that guy that likes to gig stuff. I like that, but I, I got no buts in this one. The one thing too that's phenomenal, and this is something Kodiak's done, and it's, it's just gone over extremely well. One of the things that you don't see here uh, is no carpet. So we have oh, no sure. carpet in the entire trailer, whether right. it's even in the slide box. So, um, you know, it makes for no vacuum, you know, you mm -hmm. can, everything is, is just a sweep away. So right. that's been uh, absolutely phenomenal in, in every floor plan that we yeah. build. I, I like the slip resistant, easy clean floors, uh, mainly because when you are out and about having it easy to clean, but when you're coming back from the beach or you're not going to, you're going to be outside. So chances are your shoes are going to be wet, just like our shoes are now. And we're not, you know, slipping and falling all over the place. Got my hangers right here as we walk through. Friction hinge door, uh, solid steps with the extra large grab handle coming out. Plenty of safety and security coming in and out. Now tell me about the kitchen placement set up here because I'm used to seeing if I do have an external kitchen, it's down here at the rear. But you guys put it right here. I got the awning covering me up. What is this? Like an 800 foot awning? Good grief. Yeah, so we've got the 22-inch uh, awning here, or 22-foot awning, yeah. rather. Um, and the nice thing is it's over our entire entertainment and mm -hmm. our nice uh, griddle top. So you don't have to worry about getting wet. Yeah. So that's been the, the one of the problems with any outside kitchen that's not under the awning. We, right. we were able to do that as well as put it over the door. Once again, I bet the designers got tired of hearing about, can we get a flap top? And can we get it maybe away a little bit? Because if you look at this, the placement is actually a, a really good design. I can cook right here, but I have my external prep space along with my mini fridge and my TV, which is on the swivel right here. So I'm not cramped into one spot. People can be here hanging out, not having to get all the, the smell and the smoke and everything on them with that over there, but having the flat top, it's a good choice. It's been it's 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 been great. You know, you can you can cook so much more on the flat top. Yeah. Especially breakfast. I was gonna say it you know, breakfast, yeah. It it changes the way for bacon. So it's better to be cooked outside than inside because you'll probably smell it for, for two weeks if you cook it inside. Bacon is God's condiment, Dean. It absolutely you gotta have it on everything. Absolutely. You can put bacon on everything. Yeah. Challenge me. So prep space here. I got good head clearance on my external uh, kitchen right here. Sealed safety tinted glass all the way around. LED illuminated stabilizer jacks, powered stabilizer jacks. Power. Tell me about that. So what we've done, um, we did the power stabilizer jack with our LED light over each stab jack because we, we understand that there's times that you're gonna get there when it's still dark you know, mm -hmm. outside. So this gives you that ability to see what you're doing at night. So that under lighting is just a really, really good touch. Great grab and go storage spot here. So if you have backpacks, hiking boots, uh, the Kabu bags, the water bags, that's a good grab and go spot right there. Plus we got the magnetic anti-slam. Got my solar prep right there. If I have my panels, I could plug in. I see you got the uh, dog leash. We have a pet front. leash there right yep. there on the frame. Like it, pet leash. Uh, got the mini diamond plated. Nice fiberglass end cap too, man. Look yeah. at that window and those running lights. Yeah, three quarter uh, gel coat front cap. We also prep uh, for a solar panel on top as well. So, so it's already pre-prepped? Pre already pre-prepped. Good. How's my insulation inside? So on your insulation, um, you're gonna be in that R11. Okay. Um, you know, it's 
it with variables with with windows you know your r values to get a true yeah, r value sure. um but it, we're going to be right in the meat of the market good that's because that you know that that's important people talk about you know four season camping yeah hey we're four season camping we're four season camping at the end of the day you got to use a little bit of common sense when it comes to that for sure if it's if you're nan look of the nor and you're up on the northern tip of you know the north pole no you're not gonna get four. no you're not gonna get four season camping if you're down at the equator you're not going to get four season camping. You got to take that as it goes and use a little bit of common sense. But at the same time, when it comes to taking a look at campers that have insulation, when you're talking to your specialist after texting Easy RV to 32094 and getting them to kind of walk you through or leaving me a comment down below, Easy RV, letting them walk you through, ask them about the insulation. Hey, I live in X, Y, and Z. I want to go to ABC. Is this a good camper to do that? That's important to note and important to have them do, just like important to have a power tongue jack on the unit that you get. That's a good touch. Because hand cranking, not it's, into it, man. Yeah, especially in this segment. Another good grab and go spot over here for my stowaway. Come over here, yeah, these, these super slides, they just open the camper up so much, give me so much space and so much to do. So, I see I got my terminations under there. Kev, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of under the slide a little bit, but you'll see how it's kind of extended out. And I got my gray tank pull right there in front of the tires. Got twin 15 inch aluminums on that. 15 inch. And tell me a little bit about the uh, suspension. So we do a leaf spring tandem axle. Mm -hmm. um, the nice thing though that you'll see is the separation that we have between those tires. Mm -hmm. That's gonna give a smoother ride going yeah. down. You're um, not gonna get that. You're not gonna get that down. bump. But also, in the event that you were to, you know, maybe run over something that's on the road, sure. it's not going to really shoot that into the tire behind it. So it gives you a little bit of that space. Right. So just a, a safety precaution there. And how's my underbelly? So on your underbelly, fully heated and enclosed, mm -hmm. uh, we put a polypropylene sheet underneath the entire trailer. So again, those, those tanks are going to be covered. But again, that's also going to protect if if there were any debris on the road right. or, or a critter getting underneath sure. and chewing the wires. Yeah. <laughs> keep the rats so, out, keep the, keep the rocks keep out. Keep them out. Yep. One of the other things I wanted to point mm -hmm. out too is the construction of that Kodiak, since we are six side laminated with aluminum frame, mm -hmm. laminated here, also laminated on our slide out end walls nice. um, and our rear wall. So really gives that great solid construction, mm -hmm. but with that aluminum frame is gonna make it uh, super lightweight, 7,600 right. pounds. Uh, on this 37 foot travel trailer. And having it laminated not only on the outside but on the side panels right here is also gonna help with the heat and the cooling. You're gonna be able to keep some of that R value inside. And the R value just being, you know, if you're heating a pot on the stove, how hot does the handle get? For sure. You know, how is that conduction of heat really transferred? Am I losing it? Am I gaining it? You know, so once again, another great thing to ask your reps when they get a chance to walk you through when you text Easy RV to 32094. My other termination right here, city water connection there, black tank flush there. Nice option of having the storage right here finished off. It's a good call. Got my 4x4 sewer hose storage on the back, spare tire on the back. I see we're set up for a backup camera. Yes, sir. And we got the arch ceilings with the three inch nozzles. Um, I like how you did it over top of the slides too. That helps make sure that the water, the rain and the snow doesn't like fall off onto you or the slides. For sure. So, and sealed safety, tinted glass all the way around. That fireplace in the master bedroom with the king size bed, Dean. It's, we're just, we're, you know, the customer's winning. You, you teed it up. We just teed it up. I teed it up. Said I, I just shanked it. Three you teed it up. That's beautiful. <laughs> this is, this is what's great about RVing and camping. You get to see first looks here at the, at the Ultimate RV Show, but more importantly than that, you get to see the combinations of floor plans that are available to you. It's not just, bam, cookie cutter. There are things out there that you can get that are gonna ensure that you, your family, your friends have the best camping experience available, and here's how you get it. Text me right now, Easy RV to 32094, or just leave me a comment down below, Easy RV. You wanna pick up the phone and call somebody? Easy, 866-853-3510. Easy RV is live. Now, you like this Kodiak Ultimate 3371 FLSL, and you say, Chris, Dean, I gotta have that one, but I got some questions. You gotta text and get on it now. First look means this is a brand spanking new trailer that has yet to be seen. Hence, first look.
First look? First look. But if you like this floor plan, man, I love that front living. I love having the big bed in the back. How can I get that with the bathroom in the middle? We got you covered. We have people standing by right now that when you text Easy RV to 32094, they're going to virtually walk you through that unit that's close to you. You won't have to go outside of your area. We got you covered. That's the strength and beauty of Camping World. Then we got finance people who are going to say, all right, Dean, I know how you love this one right here. We got you covered. We're going to send you the paperwork. There's going to be envelopes included that are already pre-stamped. I'm not going to stick you with the stamps like I stuck you with the bill at dinner. Then we're going to have somebody deliver that unit to you. They're going to help you set it up. They're going to walk you through as if you're at the dealership. You're going to enjoy camping and you won't even have to leave the comfort of your couch or your camp chair. Because, yep, we'll bring it to your campsite. It's a beautiful thing by Easy RV. Dean, thank you so Dutchman, much. Dutchman, thank you so much, brother. Appreciate it.